weather alert. And we are uh, really the major headline this morning is the number of power outages we're seeing, Michelle. Power outages, wind damage, all of that needing to be assessed and work to be cleaned up. Power restored through the daytime today. The worst of the storm uh, has moved out, but we still are seeing some lingering showers and another round of gusty winds in the forecast for today. Our temperature right now 63 degrees winds from the south southwest at 16 miles per hour. So the sun coming up at uh, about a quarter past seven this morning and once that sun is up we'll get a better idea of the amount of wind damage that these winds caused overnight but we saw some hurricane force wind gusts Fairhaven Connecticut uh, gusting over 75 miles per hour westerly gusting to nearly 70 at the airport peak gust at 63 miles per hour Providence gusting over 60 Newport at uh, the regional airport there gusting to about 51 miles per hour so the winds temporarily dying down but over the next few hours you'll start to feel them picking up again and we're still tracking some lingering lighter showers on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar so here's what I expect today west southwest winds sustained between 10 and 20 miles per hour. And we'll get a window of time from mid morning through at least early afternoon where we could see some gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. Showers linger only this morning. It'll be light, less than a quarter of an inch of rain expected. Impacts would be some isolated additional wind damage on top of what we had last night. 63 degrees in Newport right now, gusts to 55 miles per hour. There's 61 in Westport with a gust of 45 miles per hour in Warwick, 64 degrees. It's a very mild morning and some cooler air coming in and you can still see some showers pinwheeling around on the southern and western side of our storm center, which is going to continue to move out of New England. But some of these showers will wrap around and so you'll need to take rain gear with you for the early morning hours. And here's a future cast showing those winds picking back up. As I mentioned, this is seven o'clock in the morning, so notice a gust to about 50 55 miles per hour in the southwest corner of the state and fairly widespread gusts between 40 50 miles per hour expected again end of the morning commute into the early afternoon and then from there winds as we approach the evening hours will start to diminish still breezy but damaging wind gust threat should be over with so this is 10 o'clock in the morning still seeing some lingering showers by two in the afternoon we're back to partly sunny skies and it'll be dry for the evening commute but keep in mind there may still be some power outages that extend beyond today with the number that we're seeing across New England in the hundreds of thousands. 60 degrees, showers and gusty this morning. Watch for road debris and road lights, uh, intersections that the power may be out for those traffic signals. We're drying out this afternoon. Temperatures may fall a few degrees, mid to upper 50s. East Providence, as well as Bristol, gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour, especially early afternoon under partly sunny skies, Seekonk and in New Bedford. We'll drop to around 50 at 11 o'clock tonight. May a little cooler tomorrow for trick-or-treating. Our temperatures at 5 o'clock in the 50s, but then as we head past sunset, our temperatures will start to drop through the 40s. Chilly start Wednesday morning down into the upper 30s. We are going to see those lingering showers this morning, then drier weather Tuesday, Wednesday. Not concerned about the showers on Thursday. Highs around 63 in the weekend, looking partly to mostly cloudy and a bit cooler. Your full future cast from Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca tonight, live at 5. Here's Melissa with a pinpoint traffic update.